Hi, this is Chris. Welcome to a new year and a new project. This is the first week of a new year and it's also my 200th video. Can't believe I've made 200 videos. So the new project for the new year is I'm going to be doing Carrie Griffith's 100 Perpetual Prompts for Collage. I'll put his links below. I'll put a link to the video where he talks about um, his ideas for this, these prompts and where you can download your own copy. So this is the actual size. And then there's another one the actual size. And then here's one smaller size. Because this document's A4 and my paper is letter size, I did have to sort of spread it over a few pages. But at smaller it fits. So I've already cut out the large size ones and I put them in this container. And so what you do is you, each time you collage, you pull out uh, four or five of these prompts and you make a collage. You use it to inspire uh, your collage. He puts his on sticks, sort of like popsicle sticks. I don't think I have any popsicle sticks. Oh, I do. I have Outshine. Um, I think he actually used tongue depressors because they were bigger. And he glued his on like this. And in his video, he explains how he does it. But, I don't really want this on my desk. This is too kitcheny. So I found this uh, in my collection of little boxes. I got this at the local antique mall. It was made by Carl Brewer in Athens, Tennessee in the 40s or the 50s, and I'm sure it was a school project. A wood shop project. When my dad was a kid, he said they called it Sloyd. So I'm going to put my prompts in here. I think that'll be cuter on my desk. And take this back into the kitchen, where it belongs. The book I'm going to be working in is this uh, Koenor drawing tablet that I found at Walmart. And it's a little bit, it's got a bent corner, it's a little bit scratched up in the front. And I don't really care for this uh, purple red cover, so I may end up uh, collaging over this. But what I like about it, it has nice um, paper and it's the kind of a book where you can pull it out and then snap it back in. And that's what I'll be working on. I'll probably cover this with a collage also. Make the whole book pretty. And the first thing I want to do is take this off. I don't want to, I don't think I want to rip it. I might, I might end up bending the wires if I try to rip this. So I'm just going to have to cut it off. And I don't know if I'll be working in the book. I'm used to working in the in the book. I've done Marguerite Miller two years in a row. Or if I'll end up taking them out. They're also uh, lightly perforated on the side here if you wanted to take it out and frame it, I guess, if you did a drawing or a painting or something. Okay, so let's pick out some prompts. Mix them up. I won't look. One. Oh, great. I just was talking about not... I was just talking about covering up the cover because I didn't care for that color. Oh, a magazine image. I got lots of those. A 
emotion. Well, those are hard, those abstract prompts. More than one. And classic. Well, my, my favorite color fell out of the box. All right, so I can put these away for now. And those are going to be my prompts. So now I have to start looking through my things. I just uh, started reorganizing my collage papers. And I could probably do a video on that, or I could just show you right now my basic idea. So I have been storing them in hanging file folders. And I find these very difficult to work with because when they get full, they get really floppy. And I have some plastic hanging file folder storage boxes that I got at Walmart. Those work well. They fit um, on my cupboard behind me. They fit on the bottom shelf of the cupboard behind me. But these just, they weren't working out for me. So I started looking around for alternatives. And I found these boxes. So these boxes just fold up like this. together like this and like this and they fit in the hanging file folder uh, plastic bin. I'll insert a picture. Here's a picture showing the file folders pulled out from my lower shelf and how the boxes fit in them and then I have them labeled. So what I uh, have already done with most of my papers is I put them in these boxes. And they fit in there real nice. And so this is my folder for mostly people. And then I have some buildings and architecture in that folder. I still need to uh, put those away. Okay, so what shall we look for first? I like magazine images for backgrounds. So I think I'm going to find something that's classic and maybe has some emotion to it. And I'll start that process, but I won't make you sit through the whole thing. So magazine image backgrounds. So, I don't have my least favorite color. I have emotion. I think both of these pictures evoke emotion. I really like this white star line sailing ship. That's a very classic. So, we got something classic, something emotional, like a mag magazine image. We have more than one magazine image. We also have more than one ship. We also have more than one sunflower. I tend to like to double up my prompts sometimes. Now, my least favorite color. Where will I look for my least favorite color? Usually it's like orange and red. I have here some um, printouts. Orange, number one. So I might use that. Let 
Now, what could I use for more than one besides what I already pointed out? It says here um, in print, it says White Star Line, but over here it says the Olympic and the Titanic. So, this doesn't have a name on it, but this is either the Olympic or the Titanic. Painting of. 45,000 tons each, the largest steamers in the world. So they're showing it compared to um, a sailboat still being used at the time. I'll try to keep the glare off of these magazine images, but that's going to be hard to do during the whole process. So next I'm just going to start um, trimming my, my images and figuring out where I'm going to put them. Well, the little girl is too small. She just gets lost. So I was thinking maybe I could use something else. I thought these people here sitting on the ship I like working with surreal scales. And then there's these people on their wedding trip. And then I've got all these little boys to choose from. I think he's, as far as size and stuff, he's pretty good. And this one, he's so nonchalant. And there's these two ladies off on a journey. So many decisions. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting down the background. And then I'll come back to that.
classic. I think these people look very classic. And they're very happy. So there's emotion. More than one. I've got more than one ship. I've got more than one person. Well, my least favorite color. I almost hate to put this on here. It may be surreal, but it has to look logical, the perspective and scale and all that have to be considered. to stop and clean up for a minute. So now I want to find some sort of title. And I have my Karen Tremere Art Journal words. Now that I've cut these all up so much, they're getting kind of difficult to handle. I need to figure out another way to sort those. So these are Karen Tamir Art Journaling Words, Journal Words, Digitals. One is uh, Artist Affirmations and one is Funny Snarky. And I, um, they come out, they come out um, this size, but I print them at different sizes for different uses. I like this one. Together we are stronger. And there's follow your dreams. Normal is for people without courage. Follow the path less traveled. Okay, I'm going to have to spend a little time sorting those out. Oh, which one? I think I have to finish 
gluing this down. So I think I'll glue the people together first. This is Art Glitter Glue. When I bought a refill, I had the choice of buying um, a refill with these little bottles. came with three of these little bottles, which I really like. I gave myself a puzzle this time, that's for sure. I get an idea in my head and then sometimes So I'm going to use my Stabilo All Pencil. So I've been avoiding my least favorite color, but I don't want it to stick out too far. But if I want to be true to the cause, I have to do it, don't I? And it is the first collage. Okay, now I'm going to check my first video and see what order I put these in. Okay, it was least favorite color, magazine image, emotion, more than one, and classic. So what I want to do, besides clean up my mess, I want to take this, put this in here. I miss having a border. I think on future collages in this book, I'm going to put a border around it. That's kind of what I'm used to. So I think this will be the first page and I'll do some kind of introductory thing here. But these, okay, I've got to cut out some smaller ones. I think I'll put these here. So I need to make a little mini collage. Like I have seen some other people do it that way, and that's, I like that idea. So, what do I have? I have some images here that I haven't filed yet. Let's see, what do we have? This was a piece of artist paper from Stampington and Company from one of their magazines which I bought a sample of a couple of their magazines and then I tore out all the artist papers
I'm going to put the prompts I've already used in this so that I don't use them again unless I run out. And so here's our collage number one and so least favorite color is number one magazine image well these are all magazine images emotion I think these people look really happy more than one so I have more than one people I have more than one boat and classic I think these people look real classic and then I put the date January 1st the first one so I'm going to um, decorate this cover and I'm going to decorate this cover but I'll do that uh, on my own and I'll show it on my next video for this challenge. Thanks for watching and have a great day collaging. Bye bye!